Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the TNH Outdoors 3 Season Sleeping Bag. This is a mummy style sleeping bag. It comes in its own compression sack. So I'm going to get this thing out. I'm going to set it up on the sleeping pad behind me that I'm actually sitting on, which is also TNH Outdoors. I'll go over the features and benefits with you. I'll give you my final thoughts and then we'll finish up this review. Alright, so let's get this thing out of its little compression sack here. Oh, me, I'm a big fan of branding. This thing has branding all over it. TNH Outdoors everywhere. Really nice and plush on the inside. All right, I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod and I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna get in this thing. I'll see how warm it gets. All right, so I'm gonna take my shoes off. Pretty quality zipper. Doesn't really snag. doesn't really snag, only a little. All right, so it has a lot of draft collars on the inside here that I can pull and secure around my neck keep all the warmth in. It has another draft collar right around the outside here. So I can really secure this thing around my head and lock in all that heat. For the most part, it's actually quite comfortable. Um, there's a lot of room at my feet that I can spread out. Toe box is pretty uh, squared off, not rounded. The zipper is a little cumbersome. pretty easy to open up too though, which I like. I mean, it's easy to open. It's kind of hard to zip when you're in it though. You can vent it also. It is a, you can't unzip this part too. So if you need to vent it and get a little bit more air in here, you can, which I like. I like that you have a dual zipper, but yeah, tons of draft collars. There's a draft collar that goes the whole length of the zipper to really lock in that heat. It does have a nice little Velcro closure on the outside here. And one thing I wish it did have was little straps. I wish it had straps on the underside that you could actually attach to the sleeping pad, but oh well, maybe in an update, maybe they'll do that on the new uh, sleeping bags. And the sleeping bag is rated to 32 degrees. Um, I've been in it to about 35 degrees and I was totally warm in just like underwear and a t-shirt uh, and some socks. I was totally warm. Uh, I like that it has a really highly water resistant shell. So if you were to just kind of cowboy camp with this uh, sleeping bag, you should be fine. Uh, even if you got caught in a light rain. The inside fabric here is actually quite uh, soft. It's almost like t-shirt material. So it feels really good on the skin. It doesn't feel like the sleeping bag material uh, that you would find on a lot of sleeping bags or quilts. This is actually, it's almost like a fabric compared to like a, a sil nylon. Uh, at least that's how it feels. It is pretty plush. It's not a down sleeping bag, okay? It is a synthetic, but for what it is, it's actually quite warm. Not only that, but TNH Outdoors also offers a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with this thing, you could always return it. They'll give you your money back, no questions asked. I do like the full coverage hood. I like that you can um, use the drawstrings. There's a couple of different drawstrings. So you could really cinch it and secure it around your head, uh, eliminating the need for a hat to sleep with a hat. So it's less stuff you need to carry. Um, but all in all, it's a great little sleeping bag. It's inexpensive. And if you're just getting into camping, it's a great way to start out. All right, guys, so that's my review of the TNH Outdoors sleeping bag. This is a three season sleeping bag, as I said. It's not something I would bring out in the summer just because it's too uh, heavy. It weighs in at about three and a half pounds. Um, but if it's like, you know, chilly springtime or even fall, perfect. You know, I wouldn't take it out in anything below freezing. So. Um, not unless I was bringing in a bunch of extra little base layers and thermals and stuff like that. But aside from that, for what it is, it's a great sleeping bag. Worth the price, in my opinion. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comments section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So 
If you found this review informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself, make sure you use that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.